talking about the Robinhood app because they recently again announced that they're opening up their cash management program. So if you're unaware, not too long ago, Robinhood actually attempted to open a checking slash savings account and it completely flopped. So this wasn't too long ago. I had posted videos on my channel about it and honestly, when they first announced it, it seemed really, really good because it was a checkings and savings account that was virtually free. It was insured and it was, you know, had this really good interest rate of like 3% or something like that. I can't remember exactly. And then it turned out that, you know, Robinhood wasn't really actually able to do all of this and they weren't really insured and there was a lot of confusion that was going on and a lot of things that Robinhood wasn't doing right and it pretty much flopped. But now apparently Robinhood is coming out with this cash management program. So initially a couple months back or a few months back when they did this, it was called a checkings and savings account. Now they're referring to it as cash management, I'm assuming because of legal reasons. And apparently it's more legit now. It looks like it's going to be actually insured and it's at a low lower interest rate that is actually still higher than the national average, which I think is pretty cool. So today I'm gonna to be talking about that. What I think about that, if it's good for the company or not, just things overall, maybe if you should try it or not. But before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my channel. I talk about investing, the stock market, personal finance, things like that, and also hit that like button if you enjoy the video. But anyways, getting into what their cash management program is gonna be and what I think about it. So with their cash management program, they're not calling it a checkings and savings account but it kind of is what it is to an extent so with this it's basically that you're going to have a checking slash savings account in the Robinhood app for you to use like you would use your normal checkings and savings account um, some clear differences here is that it's actually in the Robinhood app and it looks like they're trying to make it a lot easier for you to do things like um, put money into your Robinhood account right away and withdraw money and put it into this checkings account or this cash management account and one thing that I think is like the biggest thing about this and that makes it the best is that it has an interest or an APY rate of 2.05%, but they do put a lot of disclaimers with that saying that it can change, it will fluctuate over time. But honestly, looking at how the Robinhood app has functioned over time and seeing how good they've been overall with just a brokerage aspect of their company, I think, and I'd have to guess that they would try their best to keep it around that 2% rate or so. But to be completely honest, I don't think that's sustainable over a long period of time. But hey, maybe it will be. They'd be one of the fear, you know first companies that actually would be able to keep that steady of a rate. But again, it can increase or decrease at any time. So it is a little bit of risk you're taking, but either way, it still is much, much higher than the national average. So with this, it seems like that you're able to do this without any fees as well, which is kind of interesting and a kind of a good thing in my opinion. So it seems like they're trying to get rid of as many fees as they can. Now, obviously there are some fees, like if you just use a third party ATM or some random ATM or something like that, then you will definitely be charged. But that's honestly with most uh, checkings account and such, you usually always get charged a fee. It doesn't really matter, but they specify on what fees they don't actually charge you. So they say they don't, uh, no account opening fees, no account maintenance fees, fees, no inactive account fees, no foreign transaction fees, which is with an asterisk and some disclaimers around it as well. And then no in-network ATM fees. And again, by in-network, they mean the banks and the companies that they're actually associated with. And that does uh, apply to most credit or, or I should say most debit cards that you use. And another thing that I think is super cool as well is that they're actually coming out with a physical card that you can use as a debit card. And I'm probably ordering the green one, but again, I tried to order one last time and I tried to do this cash management program last time and it didn't actually work out. But either way, let me know in the comment section if you actually plan on er ordering one and signing up with it. Um, honestly, the main reason I'm doing it is because it doesn't charge you anything. There's no fees or anything like that. And it's just straight up linked with my Robinhood account, which I already have a pretty decent amount of money in. So it's kind of like a why not scenario with me. And then last but not least, I guess with their protection overall, the card is going to be safe, things like that. So they actually are insured this time. So previously with their last time they tried to launch this program or announce this program, they tried to claim that they were insured and it was just kind Kind of through like a technicality if they thought they would be but it turned out um they, they were pretty much like no you're not actually insured and what you're doing you know the legality around it is very up in the air it's kind of a gray area but so that's kind of why it flopped that's kind of one of the biggest reasons why it didn't work out 
but this time it seems like they actually are. They were claiming that they brought in some really big players from really big banks to help them out with this and the financial aspect of it and get everything insured and safe. And then obviously just kind of like any credit card or any um, uh, just debit card or bank out there, they do have, you know, insurance obviously, and they are protected their data. And, you know, they have a big thing on that because somewhat recently there was a big issue with uh, a Robin Hood possible password and privacy breach. And obviously just, you know, the same thing if you lose your card, which I don't think is a big deal to me because I barely even use cards anymore to be completely honest. But you know, someone steals your card, you lose your card. Same thing as you would do with any debit card or credit card that you lose, they'll replace it, cancel the card. You could do it right in the app, which is super cool as well. But besides that, I think one important thing to note is the big banks that are actually associated with them. So they do list out the banks that are associated with them and they do uh, say, say as well that these banks can change and can be added or removed but they do have Golden Sox, HSBC Bank, Wells Fargo Bank, Citibank, Bank of Baroda I think and US Bank. So those are some pretty big ones out there. Those are ones that you're probably familiar with and maybe perhaps even ones that you already have a checkings or a savings account with. So looking at what they have so far and this has only been announced for like a couple of days or so. So far it actually looks super good and it looks like a super solid program and something that I am definitely going to actually get into. Hopefully this time it actually works. It seems like this time the biggest problems they had with their first announcement of it are fixed. There's a lower interest rate because it was at 3% beforehand and that is like ridiculously high for a bank their size or potentially for a bank their size. And then also the protection and the insurance, it seems this time that it is legitimately insured. The first time it didn't seem like they really went through anyone, like they just kind of did it themselves and announced it and then everyone else was like, oh crap, that can't actually work. But this time it looks like they're actually doing pretty good. I mean, it's coming with a debit card, you know, account number, routing number, they replace your cards. It's, you know, with hooked up with Apple, Apple Pay, Google Pay, Samsung Pay, you know, all of that seems really great and it honestly seems to make sense if you're using a Robinhood uh, account already and you have money in your brokerage account. So, you know, that is just, in my opinion, really good and it seems like it's going to be pretty awesome and a pretty cool thing and it is licensed through MasterCard as well. But other than that, guys, that's really it for this video. So overall, I'm going to probably get this card or at least try to get this card. Uh, I don't know when it's actually going to come out. They don't seem to like have anything specific on that. They have announced it in the past couple of days or so, so I'm sure it would probably come, you know, late 2019, early 2020, somewhere around that time period or so. But hopefully this time it actually works out and people actually get the cards and the program actually goes through. But it looks in my opinion a lot better when they initially announced it because when they initially announced it it was kind of like uh this seems like way too good to be true and it was too good to be true but this time it's a little bit more i guess uh conservative and not nearly as good and crazy as it was the first time but either way guys definitely let me know in the comment section if you guys are going to sign up for this I'll try to get the debit card. Um, maybe you don't even use the Robinhood app, but maybe this is enticing you to do so. I think this is a pretty cool feature. And in my opinion as well, I think this might even be like a direct response to so many of those big companies now, those big brokerages coming out with commission-free trading, because that really is going to impact Robinhood in a significant way. But other than that, guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, like I said before, definitely leave a like. If you're not yet subscribed and you're interested in investing as a stock market, personal finance, things like that, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.